What's going on guys? It's Bobo. We're here today uh, talking about my bike a little bit. I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on with it. Uh, you know, how I got it, what I've done to it, uh, what all I've done and you know, basically just my whole story about it. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, it's a KX100, 2000 models. Um, originally bought it, uh, reached out, looked on a few websites. Didn't, didn't really have no luck with, with finding a good, a good nice bike like this one. Um, you know, just kept looking out, kept, just kept trying and trying and trying. That's what it's about, you know, just kept So looking. once I finally got, um, you know, the word out there that I was looking for a bike and uh, I hit up a few people, hit up a few of my buddies and one of my buddies actually hit me back and, uh. His Instagram pop up right here on the screen, go follow him. It'll also be in the description below. You can go follow him, go like his photos, show him some love, support, man. You know, just shout out him, bro. He's, he's a real legend. He's a real G. Go follow him, show some love. I originally got it from from him. He's the one that found it for me. Um, but yeah, it was it was in totally perfect condition. Nothing wrong. I think it only had about five or ten hours on it once I got it, which isn't bad um, for these two strokes. Uh, so I got it. You know, did did a little maintenance, looked at it, ch checked it, and then it just basically sat around for about a year or so. And uh, once I once I got it back or were to where I had time to actually feng shui with it and get it to where it could be capability of have the capability of writing um i lent it to one of my buddies and got it back from him well he only had it for about a week but uh got it back from him and uh yeah you know this is where the big the big problem came in uh just looking at it you know and it, it wasn't really sounding right whenever i got it back from him but you know it's it is what it is so uh i just you know left it sitting around and i came back to it about a week or so later and uh, went to start it up and that was when I realized that the fucking top end of the motor was blown. So then, you know, I look around, look around, look around, order these parts, you know, get a couple of different little things, blah, 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 whatever. Nothing really seemed to work out for about eight months. And so, uh, come, uh, you know, I, I kind of was getting upset and get frustrated ordering this, ordering that, and nothing was really working out. So uh, I come, I come back to it, come back around to it, and I end up finding the right guy. I called him, and uh, he was a really nice dude that I talked to. I forget his name, but uh, I think his name was Jason. Jason, if you're watching, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, you know, I just just called him. He was like, yeah, da 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 da, whatever. He's like, we can get it to you minimum three days. So ends up getting here within, I think it was about two days, and this is when I got it. And, um, you know, it's just a totally brand new piece is what I got back. And uh, I wasn't too happy at first, but, you know, it is what it is. Had a little dents and dings, but, you know, that's life, man. You know, uh, it's it's about up and downs, you know. Uh, if, you, if you let it hit you in the face and you stay down with it, you're going to be down forever. You know, you can't can't let one thing determine how how you approach other things and the way the way you do with other things and the way you live your life. You can't, you can't just let one thing change that or dictate how you do that. You know, like, yeah, I could have, I could have gave up after this happened, you know, like I could have just stopped and said, no, I don't want to ride no more. I don't ever want to do that. No, but I kept going strong. I kept investing. I kept putting my time into it. I kept putting effort into it and I got a totally brand new piece, you know, like it, this one piece may be a small thing, but it changed the whole bike. It changed everything about it. So finally we came back around to it. I got the piece back and I had to order the the piston for it. And then, so once I got the piston, I was getting the wrong gasket kits and then I was getting the wrong rings and I was just getting the wrong everything. So I just kept ordering the wrong part after wrong part after wrong part. And finally I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a couple of days and just sit back and do some maintenance on this, do some, some beauty work and I, I just took some time and, you know, there was metal fragments down in the bottom end that I had to get out. Um, I had to, I didn't want to cut this casing, the, the, the metal casing for the bottom end. I didn't, I did not want to cut that to, to get down there and clean that out. So, you know, I just did it the old fashioned way. Ran, ran some oil down in there, uh, you know, dumped it over, took it out, kept doing that multiple times. Probably put about a couple gallons through there of oil, just, just recycled oil, you know, uh, just keep running through there. Kept, kept cranking it, you know, get that, get them bottom, get the bottom in, get them gears going. The gears were still there. 
uh, when, when it first originally busted, but uh, I just, you know, it's just cleaning it up. That way I can wait on these parts. And uh, finally, I, I look out on this website that uh, I got recommended to me by one of my buddies. And uh, I get on there, and that was when I found, I, I seen the right part, but I wanted to make sure. So I called, and I checked, and it was. I talked to a, a, another gentleman, and uh, yes, it, he confirmed that it was the right part. And he told me that I could have it, I could have it shipped to about a week or so so i i get the parts and uh oh finally find another right person that helped me really get to learn my bike and learn what i was doing with it and um so yeah that was when i came around to what was actually really done to it um we end up upgrading the bores the bore size on the on the top end so we have a 125 big bore kit on the 90 cc um bottom end motor of the 2000s model kx 100 um yeah you know it's it's had its problems but right now she runs great and it's one of the best bikes i've ever dealt with one of the best bikes i've ever seen you know what what else can you really say about it it's 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 old but it's new it's got a 2020s model top end motor with a 2000s model bottom end motor you know there's not much else better that you i mean yeah we could we can upgrade which is going to come upgrade our bottom end and blah 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 whatever but right now it's one of the best bikes out there one of the most high compression high torque locked in motors you know they they're they're gonna go no matter what you give it gas it's gonna go it's not like one of them little uh yeah you get on and it might it might it might it might make you go you know it's this is gonna go it's gonna push it's gonna make you want to ride more you know that's what this bike is about it's about hopping on the trails and hopping on the track and just ripping and riding and having fun and exploring new things you know i i've, I've always loved riding and i've always had a passion for it but to really sit back and just know that all this hard work that i've done and put into this bike has paid off and that i have a good running bike it's it's just nothing compares to it you know it's 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 amazing yeah i'll put eight or nine months a little bit of money a little bit of change in there but it is what it is you know you can't you can't you don't always win every battle you know you, you just got to stick strong through with what you got and focus on that and go strong at it and keep going and don't ever stop never give up you know that's what it's that's what it's about it might not be the best bike it might not be a million dollar bike but hey you got to start somewhere and that's what it's about nobody n nobody's going to keep you from doing what you love and from doing what what you've been loving you know like it is what it is that's what it, life's about keep going strong at it uh we'll get some better footage of of this and it'll go now Hey, so there you guys go. It's it, that's that's the footage of it. Uh, I know, like I said, it's it is what it is. It's it's not the best looking bike. It's it's never gonna be. You might you know you can't compare it to that, but it's a start. Um, I'm gonna continue to grow with this bike. I'm gonna continue to invest, keep investing into it like I have been. Invest my time, invest my effort, invest whatever I need to into it because this is what I love. It's what I'm continue to do. You know. Whatever you guys enjoy, whatever you guys love, just go for it. Don't give up on it. Chase your dreams. Go hard after it. You know, I I didn't want to do what I had to do to do this. No one no one wants to, but in order to get the end goal out of it, you got to. You know, like that's what it's about. It's it's people are gonna have negative things to say. People are gonna like it. Some people are gonna hate it. You know, that's that's life. It's 
it's that's what it's up and downs it's rocky you know it's it's not it's not a smooth ride if if it was everybody would do it you know like i'm not saying i i will ever have the best bike but i'm gonna try to and i'm gonna try to have what i love and i'm gonna continue to go after it because that's what i want to do you know this this is just a start you know um there's gonna be plenty more videos to come stay tuned Tune in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't dislike it, that's okay. You know, leave a comment about what you like, what you enjoy. Smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Turn on that bell. Turn on them post notifications and enjoy you guys. Have a blessed day. Peace.